Okay, this is just a quick part arrival video. Um, I'm actually going to probably do a, a few of these today because I received a, a lot of parts over the holiday season um, that I just didn't do videos on. Um, this one is a bunch of different uh, lighting or lighting effects and uh, I'm actually going to be seeing what I can do to put together some electric art uh, with some a local artist here uh, and uh, these are just some examples that I ordered so I could see what the lights were like and also share that with uh, the local artist um, hopefully uh, we'll be doing a lot of different stuff like this and, and working with a lot of different people and <clears throat> we'll see what it brings uh, so to go over this stuff right here this right here is just a piece of paper um, but it sits there and absorbs light throughout the day and it's it pretty much just glows green at night um, so it's pretty much glow-in-the-dark paper uh, it I mean you can put your hand over it and uh, or put something over it when it's absorbing light and you'll actually see that shape they use that a lot in like emergency exit signs <coughs> um, here is what they call EL wire, and it's unraveled here. It's about 10 feet. Um, they say it's 3 meters, so it's probably about 9 feet, somewhere around there. Um, and all you do is plug this in, and uh, it glows. So over here is an EL panel, this one right here. Um, same concept. Um, this is filled with a... Uh, um, a luminescent phosphorus I believe and uh, when these uh, have power applied to them they glow um, this is the inverter form and this actually just takes um, whoops just regular um, AA batteries and it actually takes them from the three volts you see there in the AA batteries to uh, um, I think it inverts it up to 120. I doubt that with it being this small, but I guess it's possible. Um, I know it has to take it to a higher voltage <coughs> to control the EL wire. Sorry for the coffin. I've got a cold. Um, and this is what we call a light pipe. <coughs> um, it's kind of hard to see in there. But you just put some sort of light in that end and it actually pipes it to the other end. You can see it. It's piping the sunlight. <laughs> um, and then if you get a really strong light, it will actually you know, show up on the other sides. But you know, literally, I'm pointing the other end towards my window there, and it's piping the sunlight. So that's the first video today of products that I received over the holiday season here. And I'll go ahead and get this uploaded. Okay, so here's another quick parts video. Um, this is uh, just a quick overview of all the parts that I've received. Um, here is a fish tank. Sorry for my hand shaking. Um, that I got at Walmart. And that's a uh, part of the Mini Abyss build. I've also got a link system router here. That's actually for my own personal uh, network here in the, my apartment. And then over here, we got some more stuff for the Abyss build. Uh, we just had to pick up some electronics parts for some of the electronic um, customization that we're going to be doing in that build. We're actually going to be uh, controlling different lights with outside of the computer and, and hook it into my home automation system. So I had to get some parts. We've got a PC uh, relay there. Uh, it's a 12 volt, 5 amp. We got some green LEDs, rectangle, rectangular. Um, we got some red LEDs. And we got a push button monetary switch. Um, we got some printed uh, circuit boards there. 
And for some of my testing, I went out and got another breadboard. Not another one, that's actually the first breadboard that I've been using. Um, and then from Spark Fund, uh, I got a switch there because the LED that actually goes in that uh, for the you know the LED hood is going to be the light that I'm going to be controlling. But I had to figure out how to hook into the um, power switch on that, and I ended up breaking the power switch. So I went out and got another one. Um, and then right there is a solid state hard drive. Uh, and it's 120 gigs, and I got that from Newegg. Um, and then I got this a while back, but I haven't done a parts video on it yet. This is the motherboard that's going to be going into the uh, Mini Abyss build, and it's just uh, MSI um, FM2. You can see all the details right there. Uh, we're actually going to be using a um, AMD processor. That's one of their new uh, dual core, not dual cores. Um, I think they I call it an APC, where it has the uh, um, video graphics CPU or GPU and a CPU all together. Um, Oh, I'm sorry. <coughs> My understanding is that that's probably going to be a little overkill for a home theater PC. Especially one that's just going to be doing just, you know, basic, um, probably only the home theater PC. But I thought it'd be good to try and, and see what happens and be good experiment. I, I got this on sale for a really good price. Um, and since the Mini Abyss build there is going to be going in a fish tank with fluid in it. Um, the really good price that I got on that uh, kind of makes it a little bit easier when I'm going to be putting it in that fluid um, since I've never done a, a uh, <coughs> um, mineral oil build before. So, And that's what the solid state drive is actually because the solid state drive is going to be placed in the fluid as well. Um, some of these electronics, <coughs> well not the switch, but some of this might actually touch some of the fluid underneath the lid. But it, it won't be um, submerged. But the cool thing is with uh, these custom electronics here, part of it anyways, there's a, a lot more to come. Is It's going to be hooked into uh, a lighting system that is going to be partially controlled by my home automation system. So if I don't, if the system saying don't have the LED on in the fish tank, it's going to turn it off. Even if the computer's not on because it's going to have its own little microprocessor. Um, and if any <coughs> other effects are in this in this tank, in the Mini Abyss build, it'll control those as well. Um, I'm not sure. I think right now the only effect, lighting effect, or anything that might need to be controlled is just going to be the LED uh, for this build. But the cool thing is, is I'm integrating all my builds that are going to be within my own personal residence into the... Um, home automation and also there's going to be some lighting effects on some of the other um, builds that when something happens um, it'll actually affect the other lights in the house to give it that um, you know like there's I'm going to be doing the thunderstorm build where it actually when a thunder you know there's a thunder clap or a thunder and lightning the lighting in the house is going to flicker or it's going to do something to demonstrate lightning. And it's actually going to, that computer is going to tie into the home automation and actually control the LED in this so that when all the lights flicker because of that, that lightning strike, um, it'll actually control this lightning or this LED uh, to give it that illusion in the house. Um, and then if, you know, if I, I send the command to to go dark inside the entire house or you know I'm not home it's gonna know that those LEDs do not need to be on um, so sorry I got into a little bit of detail as to some of the builds but I think it's good to explain what these parts are for so there's the part video for today hope you enjoyed and uh, it's probably the last one I'll be doing for a few days until I get some more parts
Okay, here's a couple um, more parts that I have. Uh, these are T-Mobile activation cards or SIM cards. Um, if you see right there, we've got the the SIMS card, um, and I've got two of those. And those actually are going to be going into some custom electronics. Um, I'm actually able to put these into a, a cell phone or a cellular chip, and part of the electronics or the Arduino um, is going to be controlled remotely. So they can actually use these SIMS card and a prepaid uh, T-Mobile account to communicate via text message and data with whatever I choose to have them communicate with. <coughs> and uh, these are actually going to be, one's going to be going into, uh, and it doesn't really matter which one, but one is going to be going into a interactive um, computer in my car uh, that I'm going to be kind of building up on to uh, one do advertising for my custom electronics and custom engineering and two to do some um, automation with my car so like a remote start where I can text to have it start or even send a command from my home automation system you know when I'm starting to head out the door if it's cold to have it start the car or you know if, if it knows that I'm getting ready and about to leave it can send a, a data signal um, through the internet and be picked up by these sims cards uh, either even in a text just saying hey start and start uh, start the heater so that's kinda what those are gonna be for um, the second one I'm not sure what I'm gonna do uh, with that I had a plan for it but um, I just I'm still working on that but they they cost 99 cents each because uh, I got them on a they're usually six bucks I guess according to the website but these will actually be going into the systems um, into the custom Arduino or another type of microprocessor with a cellular chip added in and they'll be used for some programming and some custom electronics should be interesting to see what happens I've never used these before um, I'll have to get a prepaid account for each one, but T-Mobile has some pretty good prepaid accounts. Uh, that's why I chose them. So, I'll just kind of give you a real close look. Um, that's just a part number, and then you got the, the little card that has the SIMS chip that pops out. And that just goes into the part that I'll be receiving here shortly, or uh, probably not shortly, within the next month or so. So, there you go.